got a couple of non-mass related projects today I'm going to do real quick um, one is the rehydration of an animal hide and I'll show you guys that in a minute hang on just a second what you have to do is I've got a uh, bear form here a bear hide that somebody sent me to do and this is the bear hide they got their tag and all that stuff on there um, I'm going to cut this since I know that I'm the last transfer of this thing I need my scissors where are they right here Okay, cut this tag off of here. All right. Now this is a unique piece because this is a, uh, I believe this is a wet tanned one. The only problem is the lips have been split right here on the end. And the ears have been turned for the tanning process but they're turned inside so what happens is when the ears are inside the animal like this and they're inside out and you can't get them out by pushing them back in you're supposed to be able to push them back through um, you can't really get that done all, sometimes by the fact that it's either, you know, too thick or something like that or, you know, something like that. So, what I do is I take a bucket and I fill it with water. And I've got water in here. I don't know if I've got enough. Take the hide, put it face down with the part that needs to be hydrated the most in the water. And just fold your hide in there like that. Don't have to get it saturated. Don't have to get it soaked. Take a lid, cover it up, and it will, it will, um, within a few days, it will probably get so rehydrated that it will, uh, it won't have a problem with me going in there trying to flip the ears and stuff like that. What I'm trying to do is soften up the inner, in, inside where the ears are so they can, uh, and then I'll just swish it around a little bit. Let me check and make sure that this is, the ears are indeed being soaked. Um, yes, they've got water in there, so I'll say that way I can do that. All right, so I just stick it down there. I'm not mushing the whole hide in there. I'm not trying to get the entire thing wet. Although it will be nice when it comes to mounting it. I've still got to find a form for this um, at the taxidermy shop. And mount it. It's a small black bear. And then I've got a deer over here that I gotta finish up. Uh, I wanna put this in here out of the way. <clears throat> now I've got a deer mount that I've gotta refurbish and finish up here, which will be right here if this thing will ever play well. Come on. This gimbal doesn't balance very well. There we go. All right. This deer needs to be refurbished. So the first thing I'm going to do is we've got to clean a little bit of this process on this. Let's just take a little bit of water and spritz it on the nose and just kind of wet this down just a wee bit. Okay, we have to rebuild this nose. Um, we're going to need some Mod Podge for this and do this real quick. Um, it looks like there's a crack and a split in it. So we get some Mod Podge and put it on there and tamper it down in a couple of spots. And of course, this thing is dusty. I don't know where in the world they stored this thing, but it is horrible it's got to be brushed it's got to be fluffed the antlers have to be refurbished uh the uh 
it's it's not a bad mount it just needs to be taken care of so first thing i'll do is just get a little mod podge and put it on the nose let me balance this way this thing can sit right here on my table right there and you guys can see this Okay, uh, Mod Podge, Mod Podge, Mod Podge, Mod Podge, these quick fixes, quick fixes for the Mod Podge, come on, it's over here somewhere, I just don't know where there is, because I can't find anything, because everything's scattered, Mod Podge is over here somewhere, so this is a problem, sometimes I have everything kind of Scatterbrained, and I don't know where everything is all the time. Much Podge. Bleep. I've got it. I know that much. I have it, and it's over here somewhere. Because I use it sometimes in sculpting or mask making because I put eyes in, and sometimes you have to back it with uh, a little bit of that. Oh, great day in the morning. <sighs> this is a horrible thing. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Here's what we're going to do. Ah, uh, Mod Podge. I've got it in here somewhere, and I can't see it because I'm looking for it. You ever have one of those days where you're looking for something, you can't find it, but the minute you stop looking for it, whoop, there it is. Hey, here we go. Whoop, there it is, see? Mod Podge. All right. What we're going to do is take a brush, a little chip brush here. This is a little, one of these little brushes. And I'm going to lightly brush in some Mod Podge to fill in these cracks and stuff. And it's going to bring out a little bit more detail on the nose. Just to, uh... Make it shine just a little bit. And there's some little cracks and stuff. The light hairline cracks in the nose. And I just fill those in Mod Podge. Just stipple it in there. You know. And it kind of it kind of fixes it. It's a, it's a quick, cheap repair. You know. Then I'll brush some Mod Podge on here just to bring it up a little bit. Just kind of fluff it a little bit. Let me get this hair off of here. The reason I'm doing this on Instagram is because Facebook has banned me for 30 days. I'm sure you guys know about that. I've been working on some ideas for sculpting and stuff like that. And uh, I've got a couple of ideas in the works. One is a non-horror character. The other one is a horror character, but I'm waiting for something to be delivered on that. And it should be coming fairly soon. And it's kind of something that I would need to work uh, around on the details on that. And the other non hard characters, a couple of non hard characters. Uh, one I've done before, but I really didn't do anything with. Now I have reason to go back and revisit it and uh, bring some out. Uh, another one's a brand new one. It's going to be a brand new sculpt. I've got some brand new clay, as a matter of fact. Um, a Chavant clay. And I got a pretty deal. Somebody offered me a uh, a trade deal for a mask and uh, for some supplies. Tons of sculpting supplies and a... Uh, um, tons of... Uh, 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 sculpting supplies and clay and it's not water-based clay I have plenty of that I just have to uh, have to um, rehydrate that as well 
Um, okay, we got this on here. And I just want to go in and kind of do little stipplings and stuff to kind of bring out the texture. I have a little nose roll somewhere, which is, I call my little blackberry. It's a little blackberry pad because it looks like a blackberry. It has that definition of a blackberry. And you just kind of roll it over the nose when you do the gluing um, because you will make this texturized like a real deer's nose. Um, I could just pull this thing off of putting your nose on there, but I don't want to go through all that because I don't know how old this thing is. And I'm just refurbishing this and doing a little airbrushing, touch-up work, that type of thing to it. Um, let me get a towel. And I need towels. Where are my towels? <clears throat> See, I can't find anything in here when I need it. Towels. Paper towels. There they are. I've been kind of cleaning, moving things around. And I want to make sure to get all of this kind of situated where I can I can work and do stuff with it. And uh, it's been a little bit of touch and go for, for situations with things. in a tiny bit of lip detail. That's a little bit. <coughs> now see the thing about the lips is they are not accented very well with what the deer needs to be shown the same to old it's faded. I'm just doing a little bit of lip accentuation. There is a, a <coughs> excuse me. There is a little bit of a um, area where the fur has started to want to separate, but it's not quite there. So that kind of detail hides little uh, little things like that. Let's take a look at this thing. It's got a... Okay, we're going to do some accenting around the eyes. We need to do that. Just do a little, just a little bit of touch up right here. Just a little bit. Not very much. Just a little bit. See these eyes aren't very they aren't very well done. They're, they're, they're all blotchy and, 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 and faded. So I've gotta I've gotta go in and kind of touch them up. And what I'm gonna do is just accent the eyelids and stuff a little bit. Just a barely touch up brush and then come in on the eyes with a fresh q-tip and some alcohol and that will bring the shine out in the eye a little bit Take some alcohol and rub it right over the eyeball. I let that dry naturally. You see this eye here where it's not looking good? And have a look at this one. This one is, is, is a little bit, it's refurbished a little bit and looks brand new. 
I'll have to do the same thing to this side. Come in with a little paint detail, touch it up. It's got that fade luster coming around the eyes. alcohol, rub it on the eyeball, but nice and cleaned out. Then you have a deal with brand new eyes. One thing about this thing is it's got matting up here that's fluffed up. It's not laying down because there's some kind of uh, residue on here and I have a brush somewhere let me get my brush real quick and I'll brush this thing out oh mercy I don't know where my brush is I've got a wire brush in the house I think and that's what I gotta do is wire brush this thing and get this fluff where this deer's hide has come up and started to fluff. And I just take my wire brush and take your fingers and just kind of work it around a little bit and just rough it up and then smooth it back down. It's just kind of a not very difficult to do. Just smooth that out because it's you do it by hand, you do it by brush. Just trying to get these hairs to resettle and lay down again. A very light job. This thing isn't isn't uh, drumming as much as it would. kind of rub that in and just get it to lay naturally. Brush it's got a little bit of residual right there. Is it up water on there and just kind of rub it in and just, 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 it'll fluff out naturally on its own, but you can get a hair dryer and then turn around, just blow dry it real lightly. And with a wire brush, just brush it real lightly, but I get in here with my fingers and kind of go where the ley lines of the hair will go. And then just kind of, There you go. So I lay down. Sometimes when hair clumps up like that, it won't come apart till you like wiggle it and agitate it. But once it does, then you can just layer it down and just smooth it out and just kind of. Now that forehead will dry. We're still waiting for the nose to dry so we can get in there and do a little touch up with it. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of sheen shine on the antlers. Um, what I'm gonna do with this is first I'm gonna take some alcohol with a cloth or a rag and I'm going to wipe it down then I'm going to hit it with a gloss spray just to put a little shine in it. 
clean them off a little bit with the alcohol. Not too much because there's there's dirt and stuff in here that add character and texture to the antlers. The coloring and all that. I'm just getting all the dust off of it, basically. <clears throat> to clean it up. That was a broken antler about too. And then when he goes up on the wall so the nose will dry out, I can keep him out of the way. And then when he gets dried out, I'll repaint this nose and make it look a lot better. Let them dry it out a little bit and it's not fluffed up. The back is pretty good. Okay, the ears probably need to be fixed a little bit. And this fur won't lay down. Kind of fluff it up and run your fingers through it and just kind of scruff it out. Smooth it out. I'll go over them when the nose dries, I'll go over them with a wire brush. And I will hit these antlers with a uh, epoxy. Let me move this up a little bit. I want them to stand up without having to. We'll hit these antlers with a gloss spray. And the way I do that, so I'll take a lacquer, clear lacquer gloss, like this, and just zap these antlers. I help protect them. Something a lot of people don't realize. It gives them a little bit of a shine, but it also helps protect them. Because when you do that, you don't have to worry about them, you know, they get dusty and all you gotta do is just take a little rag and and, and wipe them off. So now I'm gonna put this guy up here to dry. Still got that fur that won't lay down, it's fluffed up. Alright, you should be good right there. And then that nose has got to dry, so we'll wait for that to dry, and then when it dries, we'll get back into the. Now, um, this is one that I was working on earlier. <clears throat> I need to go back in and do a little touch up to this and uh, get it kind of cleaned up. Um, I didn't do that much hairing on this because I didn't really like the way the extra was haired, but this is a hood that came from eBay. Been done for a while, but I'm going to put it up on the Etsy store. And uh, I just need to touch it up with a little bit more um, paint and some uh, blood and, and reseal it. So I'm going to do that real quick. <clears throat> Touch this out with a little bit of, of, of brown on here just to 
touch it up a bit with the skin tones. Blood red, blood red, blood red, blood red, blood red, blood red. 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 Blood red.
It's terrible. I hate it. Just bleh. But the one I did for customer, I had to do the whole back end and all that stuff. And it came out better than I thought. Kind of gives it that crisp embedded look. Flow in here a little bit and hit some of the skin. down here along the outside of the lip. Drop a drop or two more in there because I'm out of paint. Tone that up just a wee bit. On the inside too, so you don't see any latex lines. No latex lines. Blobs here that are going to be colored in. I'm going to texturize those a little bit. Go in and let a little skin tone, a little bit, uh, kind of refresh out the skin a little bit to give it a little bit more color. Not all brown, just kind of like a, a fleshy color. these wrinkles to play up a little bit but I don't want to hide them I want to accent them got to get under the chin and everything so one more little drop Around the 
ears. Jawline, just kind of just a smooth little thing there. And bring the skin up a little bit. It's not all brown, it's just, you know. Kind of like a flat brown here, and it's just got to be brought up out. And just highlight those folds a little bit and just kind of do that in-depth shading. You gotta have that little scarring right here that he's got on the side of his face, so I'm gonna highlight that, make sure that comes out. Not too heavy, just lightly, light, 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 light. So the skin folds and just, just highlight them a little bit. This guy, I uh, forget exactly who he is, it might be uh, Andrew Donato, has a license or the right to reproduce these and he sells them on Etsy as blanks. Uh, I think it was him or it might be somebody else, but I picked them up and um, like I said, I've had this done for a while, I just need to get back in and kind of, you know, touch it up and put it out there. I don't know who the original artist is on this. I'll have to ask him and find out. But there is a company in the UK that ripped these guys off, whoever sculpted this, and they recast it. It's called Rubber Johnny's. And Rubber Johnny's is kind of like a cheap recasting thing where they will take something somebody's done and get it and, and do that shit. This is not a rubber Johnny's. This is a blank from eBay that I believe, I believe Andrew Donato produces. I do not know who the original artist is on this. There's no markings, there's no nothing. So, The hair part really bothers me. I can't stand it. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Absolutely hated the hair on this thing. I might take this off. It's just a terrible thing. I'll tell you what, I'm going to cut it. Looks like he's got pubic hair on his head. Terrible. I don't want to pull it off because if I pull it off, it'll likely take the paint underneath off of it. So what I can use that is, is I can do a redo on this just using this hair as a, as a base, but 
I'm gonna wait and see what this thing is flat. It's just just doesn't look good. that just a little bit. I do hear it. <coughs> Probably hear it like the Jason X that I did for the other customer. I'm trying to cut this off without it getting off of the paint. Because if I pull it, it's going to pull the paint job underneath it off. And I don't want to mess up my former paint job. I, I will admit that I did suck ass on this, on doing this. It was a terrible hair job because I hate Jason X as far as the hair goes. Don't want to do it. But you know what? Sometimes you got to do things you don't like to do and don't want to do. Got to be done. That's just the way life is. Drip drab of uh, well, y'all aren't seeing a great deal of this, are you? I'm going to seal this paint job before I go back in and clear it after. I'll seal the paint job first. Where's my backer board? I'm starting to put up a backer board when I spray. Because I notice that the spray goes everywhere and gets on everything. And it's just stuff looks like a rubber mess. And I don't do that. After this dries, except I can go back in and put hair on it. And I will likely do that. I just don't want to do it on the uh, on the portion that, that, that after I seal the paint and everything sealed and done, I don't want to have to... Uh, Don't want to have to go back in and, and redo it. And then the, once that's sealed, I can do the hair. I'll have to go back, study the photos the one I did before and see if I can get the right placement and stuff done for that. All right. So anyway, that's just it. I really need to go wee-wees. I got to get a, a one other thing done. I'm going to take this out and move it. Be right back.
Okay, we need to do a tiny bit of foam work to finish filling this mask, which is the uh, troll ogre thing. Um, I've decided I'm going to paint this in human style colors uh, for this guy because he's kind of, and then I've got the Cujo lower jaw, which I need to do with foam as well. I made a mold of the lower jaw, and I got to do that, foam that up. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to do a two-part foaming here. While I've got this thing up here, I'm going to re-foam, fill in all the little spots in this one, and then dribble some in here. But before I do that, i got to clamp this off. Right here. Make sure this has good clamps all the way around it so it doesn't leak. It doesn't leak. There we go. Four clamps on there, and then I'm just going to dribble some foam in there, and it's going to come out how it's supposed to. All right, we're going to do that first. Now see, remember I told you I, 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 I use these clamps as stands? Watch this. So set that down. Boom. Stands up on its own. These little steel vice grip clamps are very, very efficient for that. And the small pieces you need to work on, you can do that with them. All right. And we're not going to need a ton of foam for this, so I'm not going to mix up a ton of it. Oh, let's say we do a little bit more. There you go, about a quarter. Almost about the same as we did last time, quarter, quarter. Because I've got to do this and that. And uh, you know what? That may be ah hell, what the hell? There we go. That might be a little bit, don't know. <coughs> All right, um, stick. Stir stick, good Lord have mercy. Oh, where's my stir sticks? Let me get one from down here. Actually, I've got this one that I used the last time, which I can use again, but. All right, let's stir this up. Nice and even, thick, good stirring. Let's scrape the bottom, get all that up together. You don't want brown, you want tan all the way through. It'll be thoroughly mixed. So I'm going to dribble some in here. I need to fill it, just dribble it. Set this off to the side, let it do its thing. Bring this mask right down here and 
dribble fill in all the areas that need to be filled in. Down the sides and the front. All around the sides. You don't want to go if you got a real high rise in the middle. You do not want a lot in the middle because it's just gonna it's just gonna it's just gonna uh, push it out further. Goodness. Right there in the morning. That nose is still not dried yet. On that deer. I'll probably have to hit that later up today or something like that. Cups empty. And off the side, then balance this where it will rise up on its own. And then do it evenly. You can kind of see that doing it's going to go and just go around the outside of this thing where all the low spots are and let it rise naturally where it can. That'll sit and set for however long it needs to do it. It's going to be kind of boring for you guys to watch that happen. Because you've seen it so many times before. But once I get done with that, then I can just take that orc, put him on a stand, and he's going to end up a lot like this Freddy Krueger. I did this one with soft foam. I'm going to actually move him, place him somewhere else. This guy was just a half face mask, and I did it in soft foam. And all you got to do is just stick it on a wall. Just pop, and that's it. Uh, I don't know where I want to place him. I'll put him back over here. He always looks good next to Beverly up here. I think Freddie likes Beverly. Thing is, I've got so many hockey masks. I gotta. Okay, here we go. I just see how that's rising up. It's filling in all those gaps. And it's gonna do that, and then it'll move over the middle on itself, but. Uh, I want to get it at least to about this point to fill up that part of the uh, head so it will fill out so it'll be flattened out and curved naturally. So it'll take a little while for that to set and settle. Once it does, we're good to go to start moving on painting it. And that'll be the Next thing we do with that. Alright, well I need to do a little cleanup in here. So I'm not gonna bore you with sweeping and, 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 and getting stuff up and cleaning up all the stuff. So I will go ahead and cut this off and thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. thank you very much, everybody, Vicky, um everybody that's watching. Alright, thank you very much.